He prayed, prayed and prayed until something happened. Even in this day and age, age gap relationships they have the power to make people stop and stare, no matter how sincere the feelings involved are. This is the story of David and Claudine, a 54 years age gap relationship. An extraordinary couple, which sometimes mistaken for granddaughter and grandfather, or even daughter and father, the couple has been living happily in a relationship for the last four years, but they have faced plenty of criticism along the way. The pair met a couple of years ago when the man was an intercessor. He was always praying in the church. Asking for a lover, and one day Claudine showed up, and a voice from nowhere said, "This is your suitable partner." She said, "When they first met, she never imagined that one day they could fall in love and be such an extraordinary couple." She could see him as old as her father, but then love happened. And she found herself in love with this old man. It was a wonderful moment for these two. However, the feedback from people who saw them were not all accepting, and they could not just believe it. They thought these two were acting kind of a certain drama, not serious. They said there is no way such a young girl would fall in love with a man. Who is as old as her father, even her grandfather? Therefore, a lot of people discouraged the couple, mostly friends, who took so much time explaining how living with such an old man does not make sense at all. As it looks as if there is no future, they even went on to say, "What if the man dies a few days after the wedding?" Leaving her in too much sorrow and grief to bear for a long time, contrary to what many people think, mostly in African societies, when a girl chooses to fall in love with an older person, they all assume the girl is after the man's possessions. But she said, the man is not even that rich to have a lot of possessions. He makes me happy and always lifts me. And no other guy has ever done this to me. My parents never had any problem about him. He is the man I chose among many who wished to live with me, and I was not happy with them. She explained. She just found a missing part of the puzzle she was looking for in other men, and found it in this old man. And there is nothing else rather than a loving, caring man. As the man does everything that makes Claudine happy, that is why she will always love him the most. And she says the man is serious, not like young men who come into relationships without any serious purpose. She says they have known each other for four years and were then planning their wedding. We can't wait for such a big day, David said. For him falling in love with this young girl, it did not happen immediately, as the man had never been in any relationship. He is a church guy and spends most of his time praying, or else doing evangelism. As someone who has always dedicated his time to serving God, time came and he could see he wanted to find a lover, but this became a big test to him. But he added that prayer changes everything. He prayed, prayed, and prayed until something happened. Today is a big day for the couple. David is getting ready to meet Claudine, as this is one of their big days, and it proves that they are more serious. David proposed to Claudine, and of course, it's a big yes. The man hopes that someday he will share the rest of his life with her. He found the perfect person to carry more than just her secrets, to carry love and to carry children of their own, 
we are all a little weird and life is a little weird. And sometimes we will find someone whose weirdness is satisfying and call it love. Now what is next is the wedding, as the man emphasizing on what is written in the Bible. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24, King James Version reads, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Seeing that there is a big age gap between these two, does not really matter to the 76 years old David, who says he's keen on loving her, and does not care what people say as long as he knows they will never stop talking. He's trying and doing his best in loving her, and making sure that the girl feels this is the best relationship she has ever had. They don't have a lot of possession or even a lot of money, but what they do have is love. They truly love each other. True love does not stay for you. It's not a cage hiding you from the world. True love is a platform. It's the wings that you use to fly. They are foil to your dreams. It is easy to say these three little words, I love you. What is hard is living true to your words. True love only comes to those who are capable of staying true to their own words, he quoted. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.